Good morning to all my grade 8 students. So welcome to our second week of the health class. I am Ma'am Ruben, your MAPI teacher for today. To start, I would like to check our attendance. While watching this video, I'd like you to kindly comment your name and section in the comment box below. I will be checking it later. Next, here are some of the rules to follow before we start our class. First, wear your best smile while watching this video lesson and be motivated in doing the activities. Second, make sure to participate by watching, listening, and writing your reflections in the comment box. Last one, please bring out your pen and paper to take note of the information important information for today. Are we all ready? <laughs> Let's start. Recently, we have been seeing and hearing news about the resumption of the limited face-to-face -face classes in the Philippines. Some schools which are located in the areas under level 1 and 2 based on the periodic risk assessment of the Department of Health have already started. I know that we are all excited to go back to school. That's why the Department of Education have made some health reminders for, for all the students and teachers. And here are the things that we must do to ensure our safety. But let me check first if you have any ideas what these reminders and protocols are. So I'll give you some time to write down your answers in the comment section. Mm -hmm. I think we are all done commenting. Let's go and check. Okay, let me see if your answers are correct. The first one is... First, we have to make sure to keep our hands clean by washing it regularly. And you got that right. Next, you are correct once again. We must wear always our face masks. Let's see if you got the next one. That's right. Keep yourself distant from others or what we call social distancing. And lastly, let's see. That is correct. Making sure that there is a good airflow in the room or in the classroom. Now, why does the Department of Education keep on reminding us about these things? Washing hands, wearing face masks, social distancing, why do we have to follow these protocols? Well, as a famous quote said once, prevention is better than cure. We have to make sure that a problem does not happen than to have to solve the problem afterwards. So therefore, if we think that prevention is better than cure, then there is one value that we must manifest. We have to be able to control ourselves. We have to know what is right and what is wrong and know what to do and what not to do. Therefore, we must practice what value. That's correct. It's called self-discipline. I hope that we will all be able to exhibit this once we finally start with our limited face-to-face -face classes. Now, there is another reason why we should keep ourselves distance from, distant from each other. And that's because COVID-19 is actually a communicable disease. Now, what are our learning competencies and objectives for today? Well, 
for the first one, we have to be able to demonstrate self-monitoring skills to prevent communicable diseases. Another is we should be able to promote programs and policies to prevent and control communicable diseases. Now let's go on further to our discussion. Well, communicable diseases, as we all know, is easily spread from one person or animal to another. It is called infectious because it can easily be in infected and it's called transmissible because it could be easily transferred. Mm -hmm. Now, what causes communicable diseases? These are pathogens. Pathogens including bacteria, viruses, just like COVID-19, fungi, and protists. So we have to stop the spread of these in order for us to not be infected. Now, a communicable disease is one that is spread from one person to another through a variety of ways. Let me show you each. The first one is through contact with blood and bodily fluids. The next one is by breathing in the airborne virus. And the last one is by being bitten by an insect, just like malaria. Now, this time, we will have an activity. I would like to know if you are familiar with the ways on how to stop the spread of communicable diseases. This is what we're going to do. You should clap once if the statement shows the things that you should do to help your community stop the spread of communicable diseases. And you should clap twice if this thing is something you mustn't do. Okay, let's see. I hope your hands are ready. The first one is wash your hands frequently. Clap once or clap twice. That's right. Clap once. This is something we must always do to wash our hands regularly and frequently. So that's check. Next one, go to crowded areas. Should we do this or not? Clap once or clap twice? That's right. <laughs> clap twice. Next, number three, touch your face. Should we always do this? Clap once or clap twice? That's right. Clap twice. Number four, stay at home if you feel unwell. Stay at home if you feel unwell. Is this something we must do or we mustn't do? Clap once or clap twice. That's correct. Clap once. If we are already feeling sick, let's stay at home. Let's not spread the virus, the bacteria, or the pathogen to another person. That's check. Okay, fifth one, ignore symptoms. If you have cold, if you have cough, don't take medicine. Just ignore those symptoms. Is that Clap once or clap twice. You are right. <laughs> clap twice. This isn't something we must do. We have to cure and we have to seek help if we already uh, feel some symptoms. All right. Let's now proceed to seek medical help when suffering. 
Should we go to the doctor? If we are already suffering, clap once if yes, clap twice if no. And that is right. That is clap once. We have to do this. We have to go to the doctor or physician and seek help. Seek the right medicine so that we will have, we, we can stop the virus. That's correct. All right, let's proceed to the next one. Disinfect surfaces at home often, just like the doorknobs or the things, the furnitures that we usually touch. The mouse in your computer, the table and the chairs. Should we do this? If yes, clap once. If no, clap twice. Let me see. And you are right. We have to clap once. It's because this is something we must do. We have to clean our surroundings to stop the virus or the pathogen. Let's go to the next one. Receive available vaccinations. Should we have vaccinations? Yes, clap once. If no, clap twice. And that's right. Of course, if there are already available vaccine appropriate for our age and age group, we have to receive them. Okay, so I hope we have clapped once. Next one, eat spoiled food. Should we check if this, the food we are about to eat is spoiled and fresh before we consume it? If yes, if you think that could stop the spread of the communicable disease, clap once. If not, clap twice. And you're right once again. We have to clap twice because it will not help us stop the spread of the communicable disease. Let's have the last one. Avoid touching wild animals. Should we avoid touching wild animals? If yes, clap once. If no, we have to clap twice. Let me see. A wonderful job. That's correct. We have to avoid touching wild animals so that we will not um, transfer the pathogen from them to us. Remember, it could be transferred to animals as well. Okay, you did a great job. Now, here are, is the checklist of the do's and don'ts. Let's make sure to follow them so that we could stop the spread of the communicable disease. These are very applicable nowadays, especially that we are trying to avoid having the coronavirus or the COVID-19. Now that we have already identified how to monitor ourselves and how to prevent the spread of the virus, the bacteria, and other pathogens, we will now be having our performance task for health. You have here differentiated activities. You just have to choose one activity that you'd like to do. Now, if you are into writing, I suggest that you go uh, do Ten Commandments. What are we going to do in Ten Commandments? You will create Ten Commandments in order to prevent the spread of communicable diseases. For example, Thou shalt not eat spoiled foods. Number one, 
Number two, thou shalt wash one's hands before preparing food. Now, if you are into singing, I suggest that you do the song advertisement. What are you supposed to do here? You will create a song advertisement encouraging everyone to follow the ways on how to prevent communicable diseases. What should they do? Tell them through a song. Now, if you are artistic and you like arts, you can create a digital poster. What are you supposed to do here? You will show support to the program, to the policies, to the protocols by encouraging everyone to follow the ways on how to prevent communicable diseases by making a poster about it. Plus, you have to include a short explanation for your poster. Now, there are certain criteria that must be followed in order for you to get good score. First is the relevance. Of course, your output should be related to our topic. It has to be about stopping the spread of communicable diseases. The next one is your creativity. You have to creatively do your tasks. And last one is the message and the explanation. This now tells us whether you have understood well and you can explain well what we have learned today. Now, when is the deadline of submission? The submission would be a week after today. So, um, make sure to submit it to me via messenger. Plus, if you have any questions about the task today, make sure to send me a message and I will gladly reply. Now, before we end, this is something you have to answer and put in our comment section. We have to do our 3, 2, 1 exit cards. In the comment section, be section below, you have to write three things that you learned about communicable diseases. You can write about how it is spread, what are the causes, and what are they? Next is two. You have to write two ways on how to prevent and control communicable diseases. Remember our checklist? You can find them there. Plus, number one. The last one would be one value that we must manifest to help stop the spread of communicable diseases. In order for us to control ourselves what must we do write it down i will be checking your three to one exit cards make sure to put them in the comment box remember if you have any questions about our lesson plus the performance task that you need to submit i am just a beep away thank you and see you next time